you guys, it's Megan and today I am going to do what should have been such an exciting video showing you, oh my gosh, not again, showing you my Coach Cassie 19 that I just bought, but this is actually going to be a video on why I am returning this bag and my like issues with it. The reasoning behind that and then comparing it to the coach marley which i have a full review um on my channel already and yeah so i was so so excited to get the coach cassie bag coach cassie 19 um so this is like the little sister of the coach cassie which is so so popular right now the original coach cassie is known to be a dupe for the louis vuitton pochette mati and i'm pretty sure that's the name of it um but i really really liked this new version of the coach cassie this is the 19 and it's a little smaller and i loved this chalk color so i have the coach marley in the black and i really wanted a like light color summer bag so i scoured the internet for the best deal on this purse because it is $2.95 which for a full leather bag is not terrible it's actually a hundred dollars less than the um coach cassie i love that it came in this color so i ended up buying it from Saks fifth avenue on their website and if you signed up for their texts or emails you got a i think 10 percent off code and then i had an american express 50 dollar like credit if you spend over 250 at Saks fifth avenue so i got this for about like 70 dollars off after all was said and done and it was still over 200 dollars the coach marley is about half of the price of the coach Cassie 19 this is 139 I believe and I bought this for $105 on Black Friday so way less expensive and so when I got the coach Cassie 19 I ripped it open immediately it was amazingly packaged every little strap every little detail was wrapped in perfect condition it has the turn lock just like the coach cassie and the um, marley and then this is what the inside looks like so it has this biggest section here it has a front section and even like a back um like really small section and then it does have a slip pocket on the back just like the coach marley the coach cassie 19 is slightly smaller so about the same width but the sizing is slightly smaller it's a little shorter and it's not as wide so um that I didn't realize would be a problem but it's slightly too small for my liking I love the fact that it has three different strap options so it has this top handle which we will get into an issue on this um and these are all removable detachable with um these like clasps so you get that you get the long crossbody which is adjustable with a like belt so you can wear it crossbody it hits me at the perfect spot and it is adjustable so you can make it fit you perfectly as well and so you could keep all those straps on or you can take them off which i think is so handy and then this stunning gold chain it is so heavy and nice so you can either use this as like a little shoulder bag and it has a nice like length so it hits perfectly under my arm it's not too short or anything it's not uncomfortable and this is such a stunning piece and Honestly, I wish it was a little shorter because if you use it as almost like a decorative piece, it just goes around the bag instead of like staying like on the front. But it is like the perfect length for a shoulder strap. 
So that was kind of a con that I couldn't use it really as like a decorative element to the bag, but that wouldn't have made me return it. I would have just learned to love it the way that it is. And again, this is detachable and the like springs are easy to do. Um, it's just a really, really nice bag. And then it has the coach tag on the side, which is also detachable. And then the only other really coach emblem is the C turn lock closure. So since we're talking about that, let me show you this. So this is one of the reasons I started having issues with this bag. So the turn lock closure, like the turn thing itself is so small. It is so, so small and the C is like raised, which I think you'll be able to see like it's just kind of hard for me to get my fingers around it and to twist it. Like the Marley, this one has like a more flush surrounding so you can easily turn the clasp. Like there's no issues. But this one I just find to be a little too small and a little cumbersome with the like raised C around it. And I know I sound like I'm nitpicking but this is expensive for me to spend over $250 on a purse and I really was looking forward to it and so some of these issues I hope will help if you're also particular about certain things um, because I hadn't heard anyone talk about these in the reviews that I saw. Then when I was like showing off the bag to my mom, I was like, you can clasp on all these different straps and it's so easy and all this stuff. And so I was showing her like how to do it. And then I went to put on the top handle. So I don't know if it'll do it. It did it at the beginning of this video. Um, that's when I said, not again. <laughs> um, so I put this on and it's such a cute little strap. I really, really love it. But when I was like just showing her the bag and stuff and then I lifted it up again, it like literally fell off. Like the top handle completely fell off the bag. And that was like 30 minutes after opening it. Like it didn't have anything in it. It wasn't overstuffed by any means. And it happened to me at least one other time. And then right now this morning, it just happened again. So it's basically like this top handle thing is, I don't know if it's loose or what, but it just falls off the bag. And I can't have that happening <laughs> because I would really use the top handle a lot to like carry it around with. And the one other time it happened, not when I was showing my mom, that was like the first time it happened. And then I was like grabbing this from like, I had it setting down and then I grabbed it like that. And the top handle fell off again. And I was like, what is up with this? And I can't figure out exactly what the issue is like when I try to look at it or try to make it do it it never does it I don't know it just seems like weird that these would come off on their own like I wasn't opening it or doing anything to it and they just like came off completely off of the bag so maybe it will do it again during this video and we'll see but that is one of the main issues that I had like if it would have happened one time I would be like that's weird um but since it happened two times where both sides of the strap completely came off and it's just this top handle one and it just happened again at the beginning of this video like I I don't know it just seems like there's something wrong with the um like the clasps I don't really know because they don't seem like they that there's anything wrong with them like when I look at them so I'm not really sure so that was like a really big red flag like what is up with this bag it's like falling apart before my eyes and I know these are detachable but they shouldn't just come off unless you want them to come off the other thing that 
really bummed me out is that the back slip pocket is slightly too small for my phone. Like it fits it, but I have to kind of shove it in. So I have the iPhone 8 Plus with a pop socket and this will fit, but you have to either put it in like this and then slide it in, which even still you, I don't want to like force it in. It's just not easy to get it in and out. Like the Coach Marley, I literally can just slide it in, slide it out. There's no issue. And it's just the perfect size. So that might seem like a small detail, but that is very important to me to have somewhere easy I can put my phone. And I know I could put it like in the front section, but really the point of having this back slot for me is to put my phone there. I really wouldn't put anything else. Those are the main issues I have with this purse. The one that is the biggest deal is this top handle. And of course, it's <laughs> not gonna do it when <laughs> I'm filming um, to show you guys. And also this front clasp. Like, it's not hard to do, but it's just a little too small. And I'm very annoyingly picky about certain things with a purse especially if it's expensive and I think this is expensive so um, I love the inside that it has the different sections that really helps to like divide out your stuff and I can easily fit everything I need to in here I have my little wallet my hand sanitizer I could put lip products in there like you're not gonna hold tons and tons of stuff but it serves the purpose that I would want it. Um, there were just those few issues, most notably the top handle strap that like really like deter me from keeping this bag, especially when it is a higher price point compared to the Coach Marley, which I love so much. And the Coach Marley does come in a chalk variation, but the top handle is snakeskin like print and these like side little things are snakeskin and that's just not like my style so I wish they had an all chalk leather like this one is just all black leather if they came out with an all chalk leather version of this that's what I would have bought um but I picked the coach Cassie because of the different strap options and that it was all the white leather it is really really stunning and i would recommend it if you don't have these like weird issues that i have and i hope like this top handle is just like a fluke with this particular bag like the one that i received and not like a widespread issue because i have watched a lot of coach cassie 19 reviews and never have heard anyone say that so that's why i really wanted to make this video just in case um just in case it happens to you it's not just you <laughs> but it might just be me I don't know um it's just really unfortunate and another thing with the top handle is that it either falls down on the back or it goes across the front like if you're using the other straps and I don't really like how that looks if you're using the crossbody the top handle will sometimes stay like this but then it sometimes like flops down the back or depending on how you have it it might flop down on the front which I don't like how that looks really so those are the reasons I'm returning this bag it did come with a little dust bag which is really nice um but there are just too many usage issues with this for me to justify keeping this bag um and I don't want to make anyone upset with this video because if you love your coach Cassie 19 I'm so so glad because I really was looking forward to this and thought it would be like my new everyday bag and unfortunately it just doesn't work for me as well and if I would have been able to try it on in person and everything I wouldn't have bought it because of the clasp and the back pocket not fitting my phone I wouldn't have known about the top handle probably um, and like I said I don't know if it's just the one I have and it doesn't always happen so I don't know why it happens sometimes not other times I really couldn't tell you because I never really have put anything in here to have it be like too heavy or anything so that is 
why I'm returning my Coach Cassie 19 and yeah so that's like a major bummer to me but I did pick up a new purse at Target which I have not bought a purse at Target in a really long time because I've mostly always bought like full leather bags in the past like four or five years and I just never really buy inexpensive bags anymore but I really wanted a light color bag like this and I just am kind of turned off from buying purses online right now because of <laughs> these issues I would have known if I would have tried it on so I went to Target and I tried on a bunch of their purses and I ended up with this which I just love it's obviously not leather but it looks really nice like it feels really soft and looks leather-ish um, and this is only $35 and what I love about this purse is that it has these little side slip pockets that perfectly fit my phone it, like literally perfectly fits it and I also got a pair of sunglasses at Target that I just love oh my gosh I love them so much and so a pair of sunglasses fits in the other pocket which I always have sunglasses and then it has a zip pocket on the other side which is great and it's just like an open compartment so you can put all your stuff in there like I have my hand sanitizer my lip products my little toothpick things I can put my vlogging camera in there and it just zips up it has an adjustable um, belt strap just this one strap and so it's just a shoulder bag but it's perfect I love it so much it's very user friendly for me and it just makes me a lot happier honestly than the coach Cassie 19 um, and yeah so that is why I'm returning the coach Cassie 19 a comparison to the coach Marley and like I said if the coach Marley came in just a plain all white or even like a plain all lavender coral anything like that I would buy this bag again in a different color in a heartbeat if it was all leather because I'm just obsessed with this and unfortunately the coach Cassie 19 didn't work out for me despite all of the great like aspects of it like I love this chain it's just such a pretty detail and you could put this on other bags like I tried it on the coach Marley and it looks great on that so if you do have the coach Cassie 19 you can swap these handles with other bags but of course this top handle isn't gonna do it now that I told you it was an issue um, that always happens when you're trying to prove a point and never works <laughs> um, to like prove it but anyway that is my overview on this like I said I really wanted to love it and if there weren't these few issues with it I would be keeping it for sure it's a beautiful bag it's really really high quality gorgeous craftsmanship and just a really nice purse but just a few too many issues for my personal preferences so I hope this was helpful like I said if you love your coach Cassie 19 keep loving it don't let my experience deter you and if you're looking to purchase one I would try it out I might just be too picky I might just have gotten a bad one with this like top handle falling off sometimes but not all the time but it was just too it happened too many times in the short amount of time that I was like using it and like testing it out I would just be nervous all the time that it would fall off and what if it fell off while I was like walking and it fell like on the ground or something I don't know as I was putting it in the like dust bag it fell off again this is just so weird I don't know what is wrong with this purse <laughs> Goodbye coach Cassie 19. I hope this was helpful. Sorry for kind of the downer video But I would highly recommend the coach Marley from the coach outlet and I would highly recommend this $35 Target purse. It is so nice so basic and that is what I really really like just like simple minimal purses so I'm gonna get out of here. I hope this was helpful and not upsetting. <laughs> it's upsetting for me, but um, yeah.
that's all I have to say. I love you guys and I'll see you very soon. Bye!